Hey guys, coming to you with a quick video. Normally don't cover or haven't covered as of yet security topics. However, this is one that I feel like we need to get the word out there uh, among Windows users, IT admins, SecOps professionals. No doubt you've probably already heard if you have your ear to the ground, so to speak, uh, about the new uh, Sirius SAM vulnerability uh, AKA Hive Nightmare. So we've been using a lot of nightmare terminology uh, starting with printer uh, nightmare, print nightmare. So this one is following suit. So another zero day uh, vulnerability found in the Windows operating system. So what does this affect? Well, it affects uh, basically any client operating system that has been released according to Microsoft in the past uh, two and a half years, uh, which includes uh, many of the recent Windows uh, versions, client operating system versions that are found in production. That includes 1809, 1909, uh, 20H2, 21H1, uh, just to, to mention a few here. So what is this? Well, it is a vulnerability that gives permissive permissions uh, set on folders and files that a normal unprivileged user should not have access to. So this was kind of sloppy coding as far as um, is concerned with the way Microsoft has coded these permissions. So how can you check for this um, serious SAM vulnerability? Well, a quick and easy way, and I've covered this in a blog post uh, this morning, is to run a command that I have copied in a text file here. It's basically the icackles command, which you can use to either retrieve permissions or set permissions. And an easy way to test if you are vulnerable to this uh, zero day attack is to run uh, I cackles and then the the path we're going to pass in is C Windows System 32 config SAM. Now we'll see what happens when we run this command. Uh, if we run this, you will note that you see this permission uh, added into uh, the NTFS permissions on this particular folder path built-in users and you notice that uh, basically we've got flags set to read and execute uh, on this permission these uh, actual permissions on this folder now what this allows an attacker to do is to be an unprivileged user and essentially be able to view sensitive information that is found in the otherwise very sensitive uh, folder path uh, for the config uh, system uh, directory. And this also includes security, SAM, and default, as well as software. Um, and this is a bad deal. Uh, this actually is going to be a, a very nasty one uh, to patch because one of the workarounds, and I'll have links posted into the description, one of the, or the workaround currently that Microsoft has is that you need to, first of all, remediate the permissions on uh, the various locations, as well as you need to delete your volume shadow copies. So if you have system restore points, those need to be uh, deleted, then the permissions remediated, then you should be good and safe to uh, take another system restore at that point. So far, there is not a workaround uh, other than what we've described here, uh, and there's not a patch that is associated with this. So hopefully this gives a good idea of what we're dealing with uh, with this vulnerability, as well as the current workaround, uh, which is not great, uh, to be honest. So hopefully Microsoft will uh, patch this one uh, very soon and perhaps we will have uh, better workarounds with that patch made available. Again, this is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How-To. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hit like and subscribe. See you guys soon.